What's up guys, welcome to Visexualization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Quick question, are you always looking for ways to improve your Power BI report? If so, this tutorial is definitely for you my friend. For today's tutorial, I have 5 different tips to create awesome Power BI reports. So. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first tip that I have for you guys is about limit visuals. It's highly recommended you limit the number of visuals on a particular report page to only what is needed, what is necessary, right? So on the screen, we have two different report pages. The one on the left, we have many visuals and the one on the right, we have fewer visuals. So why is it important to have fewer visuals? Remember guys that the visuals interact with one another. If we have many visuals, the interaction is going to be longer, right? So if we have fewer visuals, it's going to happen the opposite, right? So you might have a question here, but I would like to see more metrics in my Power BI report pages, right? So there are two ways here that we can enrich these report pages. We can use drill through and also we can use tooltips. By using these two tools, we can have more details for a specific report page. So these are two powerful features in Power BI, okay? So please keep it in mind because I'm gonna use that as an example as well. So now let's go to the next point. Process as much data as possible in the original source. So this is a good one. Sometimes we feel really, really excited about creating our Power BI reports. So we are connecting to our database and then we wanna have everything into Power BI Desktop. But that's not a good practice. For example, if we only care about country, product and profit, so we need to select just these three columns. And also, if we only care about 2014, we can apply a filter here, right? If we compare these two pieces of code, the one on the left and the one on the right, so we will definitely use the code on the left. So we are getting less information, right? What is needed. And then if in the future we want to have more data, so we can add more data. So that wouldn't be an issue, right? But the main purpose of doing this is that we will only care about what is needed. So now let's go to the next point. So certified visuals are Power BI visuals in app source that meet the Microsoft Power BI team code requirements. So what happens if I don't use a certified visual, perhaps I might get different results, right? Maybe this visual is not performing properly. If we wanna avoid that, if I wanna avoid these type of situations, I would definitely prefer using certified visuals. This is a good practice, my friends. I have an example there to show you how it works as well. So now let's go to the next point. Use white or light background colors, I like this tip as well and the reason is quite straightforward so every time I want to print a document I want to print a report so for me it's easier to read it right it's more legible so some people prefer using dark background uh, which is fine like I said for me uh, I want to print the documents maybe your CEO wants to print the, the document as well your dashboard or your Power BI report so it would be so much easier for him, for her to take a look at the metrics. And also, if you wanna print just black and white, it's so much uh, legible, okay? So now let's go to the final point, my friends. Use templates. So when we use templates, a couple of things happen. Templates help you standardize your reports and you won't start from zero. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you have been creating your Power BI reports, you like your formats, you like your measures, you like your relationships there, so the data model is awesome, it's working fine, and you want to replicate that format, right? So what you can do here is to create templates, just something to be aware of. When we use templates, the data, the reports data is not there. So we are only seeing data model there, we are only seeing schemas, right? If we have start schemas there, if we have relationships, if we have measures, if we have colors, if we have backgrounds, they are already there, but data is not there. So please keep that in mind. And that's the key difference between 
templates and Power BI reports. All right. So now are you guys ready for the examples? So we have here tool tips and drill through, and we also have certified visualizations. We have backgrounds there and we have templates. All right. So let's jump into Power BI desktop and see how these things work. All right. So here we are in Power BI desktop. I already created this report. If you want to play with this data, with this report, you can use the data that it's already in Power BI Desktop. Every time you open a new Power BI report, so you have the options to grab that data. So the table is called financials. So now, how does drill through work? It's quite straightforward, my friends. I already created drill through here. We're not gonna go into the details about creating drill through pages. I have a tutorial actually about this feature. I'm gonna share with you the link if you wanna take a look at it. So what happens here? Let's go back to profit. So now, how does it work? So what we're gonna do here is let's select any data point here in this uh, visual, okay? So total profit by country. Let's select this country in Europe. So it's right there. Now, hold down control and then click details here. And let's see what happens. So what happens is that automatically it takes you to this page called drill through. And for this particular case, we are talking about friends here. We have more information about friends, total profit. We have also more details here by product, by semen. We can do that as well, right? So we see real quick that Amarilla, uh, we see more profit there for this specific period of time. The segment is government and the product, like I said, is Amarilla. So that's how it works, my friends. Let's go back to the report, hold down control, click here, and we are back. As you guys can see, we didn't have to add so many visuals here. We just used drill through here. So the other tool that we want to go through is tooltips. You might have realized that every time I hover over these uh, data points, you will see this, for example, right? So these are more details that we see for this particular data point. Right here, the same thing, and we go to the United States here, we also see a different type of metrics. So what we did was we created a tooltip page and we're not gonna go into the details here either. I'm gonna share with you guys the link because I already created a tutorial about tooltip pages. So you can go over those details if you could like to do that. But you can see the benefits, right? So we don't have to fill this page with so many visuals. We can just use these two tools, tool tips and drill through. Perfect. So what is next here? So now let's take a look at certified visualizations. So let's use the same page here. It doesn't matter actually which page we want to use, but let's say that we want to add a particular visual. We selected this right here, this option. So it's loading, it's thinking. So now this window pops up, right? And we have so many visuals here. So as you can see, all of these visuals are certified visuals, right? Because we see this icon right here. See, this means that this visual is a certified visual. So let's look for something really cool here. Play access, for example, enter and see what happens. See right there? So we see this, this is a certified visual, which is good. But if we take a look at this one right here, for example, we don't have the certified icon there. So this might work, but we might see some performance issues, right? So we don't want to do that. So basically that's how it works. That's how we select certified visuals. Let's close this and let's go back to the next point. Backgrounds, right? So let's talk about backgrounds here. So like, like I said before, I like white backgrounds or transparent backgrounds because if I want to print this report, this report page, so it would be easier for me to understand the metrics. If I print this page in black and white, it's going to be also easier for me to read it. So let's take a look at this report page right here, just for reference. See right there? So the background is dark. So I might struggle here if I print it black and white, for example. All right, so now let's go to the next point. So now let's take a look at templates. 
So let's go back to profit here. Well, it actually doesn't matter which page you select. So what we're going to do next is let's go to file here, save as, and now you have the option here, save as type to select the Power BI template file option right there. Okay. So I already saved this before. So what you're going to do here is basically save it there as well. You want to replace it? Yes. Boom. So you can add some description here as well if you want. I added financials template just as reference. Hit OK. There you go. So it's ready there. If you want to open the template, so you go to file again, you go to import, and then Power BI template. Let's select that template here. So the folder where you save this template, and then hit open. So and the template should be there now. It's opening. All right, there you go. So that's the template. You already have the pages there. You can delete pages. You can add new pages. You can use the same measures that you already had there. And then you can start creating your new visualizations. So guys, what do you think? Do you like it? I like it. So now let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you found this content helpful. If so, Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.